What's up, guys? It's Mars07 from Marshall. And I made a YouTube short about... Oh, Lord, I just passed. I just... And I keep, I keep on passing gas. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it smells. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, no. I can't reach it. <laughs> yeah, but today, um, we will be make. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> we're not making anything, but I guess we're making a video. <laughs> um... And today, but today, so I made a YouTube short about this yesterday. TikTok might be getting banned in the U.S. So uh, Joey B himself, he wants to, uh, not Joe Burrow, but Joe Biden, the uh, the current president of the United States of America. Uh, he wants to ban TikTok um, in the U.S., which honestly I can respect because TikTok, it does have good things on there, but there's a lot of sketchy things. Like personally, I don't. I'm not on TikTok. I never go on there. I have an account, but that's only. I really only have it to follow Jack and Christian. But yeah, um, that's the only reason why I have. I've never created a video on TikTok. I never watch. The only time I watch videos on TikTok is when I'm criticizing other people on TikTok, like uh, Chapa Chapsky and Alpha Pokey from a while back. But um. And a giant Midland to point out. What's her? <laughs> yeah, but um, it's mainly when I'm reacting to other. Uh, yeah. Anyways, today, let's watch. Let's watch this. So this is by ABC News. Politics aside, um, that's not what matters in this. Um, I just found whatever I found because personally, I'm not a politic person. You know, because I hate politics. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, but let's see when Joey. Let's see why Joey B one. By the way, I think they banned all federal devices at least. I'm not sure, but let's see what Joey B wants to ban. My man Joey B wants to ban. So yeah. All right, let's do that. Call the check, baby. It's by ABC News. Um, this is made four days ago. Um, uh, till it's Tuesday. I I'm thinking about something real quick. Yeah. All right. Um, here we go. Call the check. The video you're watching right now is a 1080p. The video I'm watching is a 720p. So this video is actually higher quality. Well, the video right now you're watching is higher quality than this. Yeah. Anyways, that's the highest I can get up to. So yeah, it's not it's not bad quality. Can you? I mean, the quality isn't bad. Anything, but yeah. Anyways, let's see this. Trouble is brewing for TikTok. The Biden administration is warning the social media platform could be banned in the U.S. if its Chinese parent company doesn't sell its stake in the U.S. app. Oh, yeah, t not to get political thing, but um, the U.S. and China aren't very good with each other. They don't have a great, they don't really have a healthy relationship with each other. So that kind of makes sense because, like, bite dance, I think, it is, from, is, is based in China. See, that's, that's what TikTok is based off. So it's based off China, so yeah. Well, the warning comes as the White House voices increasing security concerns over user data. ABC News Elizabeth Schulze joining us now from the White House, along with senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky to discuss. Well, Elizabeth, this all comes on the heels of a ban already set in place on government phones. The U.K. just announced today that they're banning the app on all U.K. government uh, devices. So whatever. I think I heard another country did it, too, like New Zealand or something. You know, on the federal devices, UK banned it just entirely. So it's starting, the TikTok started to have its downfall. It's crazy. Evidence is the White House pointing to that shows that TikTok is clearly a security risk. Hey, Kara, right. So there are three big concerns that the White House and other government officials, including the FBI, point to when it comes to the security concerns around TikTok. And they all center around the fact that TikTok is owned by a Chinese company. So first, the question is, could the Chinese government... Personally, for me, I want TikTok to be bad just because it's annoying. <laughs> yeah. Try to ask for data about American users, and because of laws in China, would TikTok be forced to hand over user data to the Chinese government? That's one concern. Second, could the Chinese government use the app to spread misinformation? Could it actually influence what users see to uh, share misinformation or affect political views? And then there's this question of once the Chinese government has possible access to this data, could it then continue to track users, potentially use that for spying? Now, of course. 
Oh, that, that that's an interesting factor out there. Personally, I'm all up for TikTok getting banned just because it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, if you mean if you use TikTok, you're in, you're you're do you're just doing casual things on there. That's okay. Like the good people on TikTok, like Carter PCs for an example, they should just go to YouTube Shorts and or Instagram Reels. Don't bring the, don't don't bring the illegal stuff out to the other places. Yeah, like TikTok's had a lot of bad things in the past. Like knock on wood, I haven't seen as many challenges there. But it's just like, let's see, like the Ben and Joe challenge from years ago, where they like killed people. That was stupid as shit. We all know the devious lick challenge, um, the uh, skull breaker challenge from like pre, from like right before when COVID hit, from like early 2020s. Yeah. The last time this was, uh, the last time TikTok threatened to be banned was September, was like August or August, September 2020. Um, that's when I was in seventh grade. I don't think I made a video about it. That was around the, that was around the time where we made that uh, intercom video. Yeah. Anyways, let's keep on going. TikTok denies that it does any of this. It says show us the evidence, and you asked about the evidence. Oh, and oh, and uh, her TikTok from most most critical said. By the way, I might, I might make a video about that. Uh. Him and Sneeko, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about it. I might do that one with Jack. Um, but they don't even take child child abuse seriously, from what I can tell. So that's crazy. We so far have heard a lot more warnings versus evidence at this point, but these are genuine concerns, at least according to the officials that are here. Well, uh, Elizabeth, I don't know what I'd, I'd do with that TikTok. I don't, uh, just to be clear, <laughs> I don't uh, post anything on TikTok, but the, the music that... Same, same, my man. I do not, I've never posted anything on TikTok. Cooking, the sports, the old movies, yeah, you can. F okay, okay. Well, TikTok has a lot of bad things. There are some, there are some really good things on there from what I've seen. What I've heard. They got sports, they got all that. Which is good, but they also got the bad side, so yeah. But most TikTok videos I've watched are through YouTube shorts, like, Blatant reviews. I, I watch blatant reviews. I think they post their content on TikTok by watching their YouTube shorts. Yeah, plus TikTok has that annoying like thing on the side. Like, oh, there's a like. Just, I just want to see the whole video. I need to be distracted by your logo and your your handle. <laughs> yeah, you can the find cute little kids. Uh, yeah, I get. I'm, I'm not following <laughs> that, but you know, you can find interests that are fun. <laughs> and in fact, it's just had this gangbuster growth because it is so much fun. What are the demands? What does the White House want TikTok to do? Uh, and, and if they don't, how would you enforce a ban? How would they just remove it from my phone? Well, you know, 100 million active users. By the way, I do not have TikTok downloaded on my device. None of my devices, actually. Yeah. Users of TikTok, Terry, you are one of millions of others who love using this app. And, and that's something the Biden administration is aware of. They've been working with TikTok for more than two years now to try to come to some sort of an agreement that would alleviate some of Oh, the and back in 2020, I think Oracle bought it or something like that, which they almost sponsored Kyle Bush. And then they backed out the deal, so... What about concerns over data security. But what we've seen is this kind of hardening of that stance now that there is more of a possibility of this forced sale that would uh, that would essentially take an agreement off the table uh, because of the escalating concerns that have been heightened just in recent days. Hmm. All right. So, Aaron, according to cybersecurity company uh, Farut, uh, TikTok has your data even if you've never used the app. So what were the takeaways for you from this? Wait, was it not used yet? Oh, okay, that's messed up. Report and is the concern from the Biden administration warranted here? This report makes clear, Kira, that whether you've used TikTok or not, whether you have it on your phone or not, whether you've deleted the app or not, TikTok still knows what you're doing online because it's able to sprinkle throughout the internet what are called pixels. These are, are tracking devices sprinkled like fairy dust across all sorts of websites that have nothing to do with TikTok. You want to go searching on Weight Watchers, you want to go to the University of Arizona, you want to look at the United Methodist Church online. Every time you do that, you've barely hit enter or, uh, or clicked on the, on the website and TikTok's pixels are already at work tracking what you're doing, even before you've consented to accepting cookies or otherwise given consent.
And so even if TikTok is banned or, or if a sale is forced, uh, in some ways, this report makes clear from. Okay, cookies, the tracking, um, uh, other apps that don't like stock you buy out, well, that's, that's that. Tech talk where, like, it's owned by a sketchy company. That's where it raises concerns. So, uh, yeah, I, I completely understand that. Yeah. From from the cybersecurity company, Ferrut, that, that it may not actually matter. Mm. Uh, it's, it's pretty ominous. So, Aaron, what... What has TikTok responded uh, about all this to this report in particular from Fruit claiming that they're collecting data on people both willingly and w unwillingly? TikTok hasn't responded just yet that we know of, but they've been making this point to the Biden administration that a sale would not necessarily curtail the, the data collection. And, and they're not the only ones that do this, Terry. Uh, Meta, behind Facebook, Google, Microsoft, all of these big companies are siphoning up Americans' data this way. Most of the time, it's just used for, for advertising or to, to give you what you want to see, you know, video-wise or whatever on your TikTok account, Terry. But the, the concern, of course, the administration has is that some of this data is being shipped off to places where the U.S. doesn't want it, places like China or Russia. Uh, yeah, I know you guys have TikTok accounts, too, right? Right? Or am I alone here at ABC? Oh, anyway? did you're, you say you're no, alone, Aaron? Terry. You're, you're alone, right. Terry. Yeah, TikTok has been like, track, has been like, not great, not very good with the U.S. government. Even Trump tried to ban it a couple of years ago when he was still in office. It's Trump and Biden went, went it gone. So it's crazy. Personally, I hope it's gone. Just I don't have to hear. Oh, there's this dude that take talk. Like, good lord. <laughs> no TikTok Harry does for you, viewer. Pass, same, same. <laughs> basically, I'm not gonna post anything. Nobody's interested in what I would post, but. Thanks very much, Aaron and Elizabeth. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching. All right, baby. Hold up. I don't, I don't know why it's still on there, but first thing I found it. Um, let's see. What is this? TikTok's the. Oh, okay. And uh, we won't watch that one. I'm, I'm just going to to that. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to go check. Just in case. Trouble. We will check. The live news for ABC, which is a bit streaming for around the world. They've literally been live for three Tom years Sufi now. That's for us. Thanks so much, Tom. They've literally been live for three years. Um, Dubois were both released after being held hostage for years by terrorists. Woodkey okay. was kidnapped in Niger in 2016. An official right. said that the U.S. Nothing at the moment. Um, there we go. Anyways. Now, I'm going to get a lot of news suggestions because I'll just watch one news thing. Well, I guess that makes it two, two or three, but I only watched one entire, in the entire, yeah. Uh, my reaction, uh, just ban it. Everything will be solved. That's one, it's annoying. And two, you don't have to worry about, like, trying to me. I'm not, like, in the politics or anything, but yeah. There's that. Um, personally, I would I would be I would not affect my life negatively if it got banned. Knock on wood, just in case. Yeah. But it would not it would not affect my life negatively. Yeah. In fact it would actually it actually affect it positively. I don't have to deal with TikTok anymore. Knock on wood just in case though. In case something comes back to bite me. Yeah. There's that. Anyways all uh, um Hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll try to post some more over the next month. Summer's coming in about two months. So actually two two months from yesterday. Uh I get out of school. So yeah, yeah, yes, it's it's gone by that quickly. Yeah. But I'll be just, I'll be the end of my freshman year and then I'll be on sophomore. So, yeah. Anyways, y'all.
Um, why am I saying that? That's it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Have a nice day and goodbye. See you on the next one. Peace.